this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Okay, now we're going to be talking about how to create dotted lines in Photoshop. Now, if you've ever tried to do this uh, in Photoshop, it can be quite nerve wracking because it's supposed to be something really straightforward, right? You think that you select the brush tool, you take some create dotted lines box or something and you just go ahead and create the dotted lines, but it actually isn't. So if you've never thought of doing um, dotted lines in Photoshop, you might not appreciate how nerve wracking it is for something that is supposed, what seems to be so simple. Uh, it isn't really straightforward in Photoshop. So I'll show you how to do this. It's quite simple, but it's just, um, it's not intuitive. It, you got to take a couple more boxes, if you will. So I'll show you how to do this right now. So we have here just a completely blank canvas here. We just have a, you know, just a white image. And what I want to show you here is how to make that selection um, to, to create dotted lines. So first thing we need to do is be on the brush tool. And unfortunately here, our shortcut to the brush tool here won't help us. There isn't uh, the option here in Photoshop uh, CS2 and 3 and onwards uh, to do this here. So what we need to do is uh, go to Window and bring up our Brushes palette here. Now because I have a floating palette, I'm just going to tuck it away here by just dragging it with my other menu items here. So there we are. So I'm going to select here just uh, any random, uh, basically anything that's like a nice rounded uh, brush. None of these fancy spray things here. We're just going to select a nice brush here. I am going to um, then select the spacing and this is where we can create um, make sure that you are on the brush tip shape here sometimes you might come in with other options here we want to make sure that we are on brush tip shape and uh, what we want to look here is the spacing this is what creates that dotted line actually so like I said it's it's an option that you can't quite readily see here in the new versions of Photoshop um, it is right here and all we need to do is as you see here we're starting to create dotted lines here. So we're just going to select the spacing of uh, 150. I'm going to type in here 150. And um, what you might also want to look into here is the hardness. If you've selected something that is a bit fuzzy, um, if you you can create dotted lines obviously that are fuzzy, you know, but uh, if you want to just create just whole um, circles, you want to make sure that your hardness is at 100%. If you are using a uh, a Wacom tablet or any form of tablet, it'll detect the pressure and it'll create smaller or bigger ones. If you are using a tablet and you just want uniform uh, circles anyways, uh, untick the uh, shape dynamics so it's all fixed like that. If you're not, if you're just using a mouse like most of us here, that's not really going to make much of a difference if you have it on or off. So here we are. So we've set our space into 150% here. We're going to close here our... Um, brushes um, palette. I'm going to bring up our layers here and I'm going to make sure that I'm on black here and just to demonstrate to you how this works here we are our dotted lines. Now I'm just going to do here if we go ahead and um, click with our mouse and then hold down the shift button and drag then we're creating a straight line and this is probably what you're going to be after when you're trying to create a dotted line is just a straight stream of dotted lines and this is what enables you to do that now as a little bonus here I'm gonna show you how to do something that's kinda of cool which is uh, sort of like little bullet holes or perforated holes in film so uh, I'm just gonna undo here create a new layer just uh, create the new layer here with the uh, new layer icon and I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer style I'm gonna put in a uh, inner shadow and uh, just use the default value that'll do just click OK and uh, all we have here is just a layer style on our blank um, blank layer. Now I'm going to um, switch to white here. I'm just going to press X to switch to white. And now I'm just going to draw. Again, I'm just going to click and then hold down the shift. And here we are, bullet holes. Now you'll notice that if we create, if we increase the brush size, and I can do this with the brackets, right? It's the key after the P key on your keyboard. Uh, you'll notice that um, the spacing isn't 150 pixels, it's 150%. So you'll always get sort of like an even spacing um, depending on, you know, the brush size that you're using. So it's all fairly uniform. So it's quite a good um, tool actually to create these uh, even spacings you can see here. It's all relative to the size. So you can always go back in here if you want to create more spacing. Just uh, click on your brushes and increase the spacing, obviously. And uh, then you can draw with increased spacing. So this is kind of cool with the um, with the, with the lay effect here of the inner shadow. Obviously, you can uh, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and double click on your layer styles here. Uh, tick off, uh, untick the... Uh, inner shadow, for example, put in the drop shadow so they're, you know, they're popping out circles and you can play around with a whole bunch of uh, 
different effects. So um, here you are, how to create your um, simple dotted lines. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.